it takes time for the excellency of the spirit life to manifest be patient we live in a world where we want rush everything you know and you just want i'm born again filled with the holy ghost what do i need to know i want to start seeing results immediately be patient only a foolish farmer will go and put a seed on the ground are we together and by the next day he goes back there and he's angry at the farm i thought you are supposed to be a you know well fertilized farm you be patient sometimes you just need to do what you are doing you don't need to do anything new just be consistent it says let us not be weary in well doing for we will reap in due season if we faint not we will reap in due season Yours is to continue the prayer, continue the word study, continue submitting yourself to growth. One day, like a baby transiting into a teenager, there are things that begin to happen in your life that tells you that a season is changing. Am I right on that? Yes. What does a baby do to become a higher version of itself? What does a young boy do to become a teenager? What does a teenager do to become an adolescent? What does an adolescent do to become an adult? What does an adult do to become an elderly person? That is the law of growth. Consistency is what is common to all of them. If a baby takes one drum of breast milk, it does not turn him into an adult. He just becomes a healthy baby. He will still be a baby. If an adult starves himself to death, he does not become a child. He only becomes a malnourished adult. There are certain things that subscribe to the law of process. Yours is to continue. It may not look like it, but the Bible says, Now are we the sons of God. It says, It does not yet appear. From that one room, keep loving Jesus. From that one room, keep serving Jesus. From that one room, let your mind keep dreaming with the Spirit. Sooner or later, you will turn back and look for your former self and not find it again. Did the Bible not say while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen? For the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change. But the things that are unseen are eternal. Hallelujah. So be patient with yourself. Don't allow the devil who is the master of the sense realm to make you feel this pursuit of God, this investment in prayer, this investment in the study of God's word, this giving, all of these practices, they don't seem to be yielding results. Till now, I do not have a job. Till now, I do not have this and that. Make up your mind that you will weary that voice of doubt and remain consistent, knowing that God has sworn by the oath and the promise that by these two immutable things, hear me, it is impossible for God to lie. And the way the realm of the spirit works is even 24 hours to your new season, it will not look like it. One more bath to turn a man to become a complete man, he was still looking leprous. One more night for the prisoner to become a prime minister, he was still looking like an ordinary person. The same way someone is seated here. Who knows, maybe this is your last night in that realm. Who knows, maybe this is your last night in that dimension. You will wake up and through the law of consistency, you would have evolved to a dimension of you that will become a marvel to the world. I speak it to someone in the name of Jesus Christ. The staying power, the grace to stay and to remain until you evolve. The grace to stay and remain until the word works in your life. The grace to stay and remain. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ.